What's up? It's your boy Carcino here. Let's talk through it. Kevin Hart. The funniest man in America right now. <laughs> Never took an L until his own friend, Am I My Brother's Keeper? J.T. Jackson. Uh, I guess an inspiring actor decided he wanted to extort his friend, Kevin Hart. See, everything was cool before Kevin Hart started making doo-doo dumb dollars. Kevin was making good money, but not this type of money Kevin Hart's getting. Now that he's watching Kevin Hart make a hundred million dollars and he's just getting a bit role in the movie, Kevin Hart's helping him out with his acting career. But he's figuring like, well, Kevin, my buddy, been knowing him since childhood. So what he got is mine and what what's mine is mine. Maybe I should just go on ahead and extort him for $10 million. We ain't got to be friends no more. And it's unfortunate that this happens a lot. The people that you show the most love to be the one to stab you all the way in the back. All the way. And they just don't get it. And, and you're baffled because you don't, you don't like, you. it's amazing and shocking to you because you figure like the generosity I showed you. You should be appreciative. You should say thank you, man. <laughs> you know, like, you didn't have to do this. And this message goes out to Mr. Jackson, directly from me. Mr. Jackson, you must be a fool to try to extort your best friend or your friend who's trying to come up in the game. You didn't count your blessings as... That's like me being mad at Floyd. Man, if he ain't did nothing for me. Why I gotta pay my bill? Why he can't pay my bills? And I'm gonna hit you up with game. Mr. JT. That's all I got to tell you. Game. G-A-M. You are a grown ass man. G-A-M. So I'm putting you up on game, JT Jackson. You are a grown ass man. No other man should be paying your bills when they didn't gave you a hand up or a hand out then helped your career get started. It's up to you to go through that door and do for yourself. You don't want to grind and get it because your buddy who definitely grind and you know he put in the work to get to where he's at. And you know how hard it was for Kev. I remember the grind. I've seen the grind. Through all the hate he made it. Believe me, he wasn't destined to fail. <laughs> he was very persistent in this. Very persistent. And he had the work ethic and he's done things no comedian has ever done. As far as taking it to the next level for comedy. A lot of comics got to eat because of Kev. So, to see you pull a move like this, who would hire you? You know what I'm saying? Who would hire you, bro? Who would want to be associated with you? Would you want to be associated with him? I know I don't. Who would want to do that? It's hurtful to see that. But it also is a, it's a sign to let you know, watch the closest five people you got around you. Because they'll be the ones to do you in.
at, at each and every time. each and every time and it's a bad sign because you always try to help you know how they say man man do something for your brothers your boys that you grew up with and then you stick it with your boys and try to help them out and then this happens So, yeah, I don't know. I guess he's, I guess LeBron just put them all in business school. <laughs> Maybe you should have put them in acting school or something, or business school. You see Mav Carter, and this is why LeBron, this is the, the good part about LeBron. His friends, and that he had a good set around him, they could have been just as disloyal. Tom about he ain't paying me enough. No. They went to school. They got degrees. They work for LeBron. And they earn for LeBron. <laughs> and they earn for themselves. Now they got their own money. So Mav, Card, and all them, they all work. They all got a plan. They got a company, a business. They growing. They That's how you, you and your day one should move. That is one of the main things I like about him. So... Like I said, take care of Take care of your families, man. Take care of you. That's all. The only people that Kevin Hart owes something to is those that helped him to get where he is. You know, his wife, his children, his ex-wife, the children he got with them, his immediate family. That's it. People got to get this notion out their head like these other people owe them. This goes for rappers. This goes for anybody. These people do not owe you money. Get up on game. Okay? Game. G-A-M. Grown ass man. Get out and do your work. Get your own. Now, if he can help you out, yeah, give you, give you assist. No problem. Like, I ain't got no problem helping somebody like that. Like, Talk, I just need this help. If I can get it right here, cool. If I can do that, fine, no problem. But I am not finna pay your bills. I'm not finna <laughs> I ain't doing none of those things. No, sorry. I had to grind to get mine. So guess what? You might have to not be able to go out to the to the club and go kick it and you can't turn up on Thursdays. Turn up Thursday. Well, you might have to miss a couple of Thursdays, bro. Get on your grind. So, on that note, it's your boy Carcino, man. I'm out. Peace.